This is a singles match set for one fall. There is a 10 minute time limit. This is a group stage match in Australia's longest running wrestling tournament, the APW Invitational. And now, introducing the first. I've been looking forward to this matchup with bated breath. This match has my name all over it, my friend. We're about to see something wild here. This match has got your name all over it? You've already got a medal, for goodness sake. Calm down with putting your name on stuff here in EBW. But I've got to agree with the sentiment here. We've got James Hartness really looking to break out on his own this year. He's been making a ruckus. From Whitechapel, England, here's Peace. London, Hotram Islands, King of the Emos, James Martin! Can you explain that rocket? Oh, I have, the ruckus has been all about the mud. Sorry, I was having Jones Good interrupt while I was talking there. But he's looking to make a name. He is a former EBW Tag Team Champion as part of Cutthroat and then some, but this is a chance to get championship gold in his own right and an accolade that he can strap to his back going forward. Yeah, but it's not going to be that easy. Enoch, he is up against one of the EPW originals and one of my all-time favourites in this great company, Tyler Jacobs. Introducing his opponents, weighing in 175 pounds. Oh, look out, bit of push and shove getting underway before Jones Good can even finish announcing these two. Yeah, I think Jones Good, after what happened at the Super Show, he should just get out of there when forearms are being thrown. Yeah, you think you'd be a bit quicker about it. Nah. These guys are just getting absolutely oh, stuck into each other. Oh, here we of go. course, Tyler Jacobs has said that this year is going to be his final in EPW. So he's ready to absolutely destroy. And these two are just cannot wait to get stuck into each other. What is going on here? Why are the referees getting involved? Just ring the dang bell. Don't do it yet, Ringhawk. But just ring the dang bell. Let them get on with it. What's with this hullabaloo? Just let them get out of it. Why aren't we separating them? Ready to deflate everyone. Everyone wants to see these guys just trade punches and forearms and right. kick the living shiitake out of each other. Uh, James Hartness, though, he's been saying recently he's felt a little in the middle of his career. So he kind of feels like his career feels like it's been a bit one note. It's almost like he is an almost man. He was almost the Coastal Champion many times. Almost Invitational winner last year. Almost had his head knocked off just then. That's right, but he refused to be a footnote in another story. He's telling the EPW Invitational Tournament competitors all oh, that he is the mountain that you have to climb. You can fight him or die. Well, I mean, that's two options, Anne, and Dime might be very close to it because... Oh, Brain Buster by Tyler Jacobs! Tyler Jacobs, when his back is to the corner and everyone is coming at him, let's remember the last time it looked like he was going to call time on his career, he ended up being the EPW champion. So he likes to go out on top, so I'd be very wary if I was in this oh, tournament. And here comes Tyler Jacobs to the outside with a suicide dive. He's getting ready in his final year to show people what he's made of as he goes for another suicide dive to the outside. He says he will burn this place to the ground. He's like, you want this trophy, you're gonna have to kill me and it's time to meet your maker. I will say, wait a minute, as he goes again here to Tyler Jacobs. Oh, whoa, he gets caught by Hardness and the fireman's carry. Whoa, into those turn buckles he goes. From the very beginnings of explosive pro wrestling, Tyler Jacobs has been a foundation of this company. I've said it ad nauseum in my 17 years. He is a jack of all trades and a master of them all as well. And James Hardness, I think maybe Tyler Jacobs can see a little bit of himself in James Hardness. Yeah, they both like to bring carnage wherever they go. Good for Jacobs, he got out of the way of that and nothing but steel. And oh, there we go. The hands go again once more for Jimmy Hardness. Tyler Jacobs, of course, former EPW champion, former tag team champion. He has done it all. He has won the Invitational Tournament as well, don't forget. Well, that's it. So pretty much every accolade you can get, this man has it. Who knows, maybe at the end of this year, we might be thinking of it much like Michael Jordan. He's like, don't retire, still at the top of your game. We haven't got no back office staff kicking you out, mate. That's right. Tyler Jacobs wants to go out on his terms. And his terms are going out as an invitational winner once again. Ooh! And 
maybe even having his sights on one last oh, invitational title. Sorry, EPW title run as Hartness threw me off my game with that huge hard shot to the side of the head. Both of these men love to brawl. They love to fight. They love to throw huge shots and they can take them with the best as well. One of the things about Hartness that people don't realise is he's actually deceptively quick just then following Jacobs into the ropes and, and even there with that drop kick as uh, Jacobs was on his uh, haunches there. So he can be on you just before you think about it. He doesn't wait for the opportunities. He doesn't wait for the offence to come. He makes the noise. He makes the offence. Oh, and big. Massive forearm shot by Hartness there. Oh, he could be going for that pole driver already. That he could. King of the Emos gets him up. No, he could be. Oh, I thought he might be going for that Gonzo bomb we saw last year. Oh, oh, oh what a shot. Oh, seen that plenty of times, and I never get tired of seeing it, Emac. Well, you, you, it's great to watch and see, but I can't imagine what it's like oh. to feel, but Hartness. That's disrespect you shouldn't do, son. If you're going to disrespect anyone in this company, you do not disrespect Tyler Jacobs. And that could be it. Oh, no. Foot on the ropes there. Very good ring awareness there from Hartness. A veteran move against the veteran. That's true. Hartness, though, he's no rookie anymore. He's been around no, for quite a few years here in Explosive Pro Wrestling. He's been doing some good things, but he's ready to step it up. Not going to be easy when you're up there against... Shotgun oh! elbow drop from Tyler oh, Jacobs. Count him. count him. That's got to be it. No. Only two. And that's it. I mean, he likes to talk a big game, Hartness, but there is a toughness there. That shotgun elbow has finished many greats here in EPW in the last two decades. You talk about talking a big game. Hartness just likes to talk. Even in his promo <laughs> that he cut on social media, he said he's in there with the best of EPW and Cannon Connors, he says. He's still got to throw some sass any way he can. Whoa! Big go to sleep there by James Hartness. Huge clothesline to go along with it. Is it going to be enough to put down Tyler Jones? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, You've got to be what? kidding me. And moving on to the next round of the EPW Invitational nice. Tournament, James Hartness. Well, you can tell by how we reacted to that, how off guard that took us. The huge go to sleep straight into the Lariato. And it was one, two, three. And Jacobs loses his and first match. Hartness put his hand out, showing some respect to Tyler Jacobs. Have we ever seen him show respect to anyone? I have not, and I tell you what, it's like having a drink of water after you brush your teeth. That's surprisingly refreshing. James Hartness gets the win in the first round matchup of the Group A bracket in the Invitational Tournament. I. I don't know what I was expecting, but uh, that was amazing. That's up for a sign, eh, boys! That's up! So it turns out the only person he respects is Tyler Jacobs, yep. which is fair, but I have a feeling we're not going to hear the end of this match for quite some time.